Oh, that was an EXB tower test. <laughs> What's up guys, Eric, I've got the Arma Crate and EXB. Um, I'm just gonna be doing just, you know, just a quick uh, rundown of, of my final thoughts on the truck. Um, I've given the truck uh, tons of run time. Uh, you know, I've put up uh, four videos. Um, you know, and in between those videos, uh, there's, you know, there's lots and lots of, uh, uh, you know, extra footage, you know, that doesn't even make it to the video. I um, because I try to keep my video somewhat short. Um, I put a lot of packs through this truck and this, and this truck has just completely blown me away. Um, you know, I mean, RTRs are, uh, you know, definitely, you know, pretty tough, uh, but they do, you know, definitely need, you know, lots of upgrades for, you know, for, for hard bashing. Um, but this truck is basically, you know, you know, hard bash ready out of the box. Um, you know, but, you know, for some of the, the most extreme stuff, you know, if you, you know, if you're running a huge power system in it, uh, you know, with lots of torque, um, you know, just, you know, big pinions, you know, lots of speed and you're, and you're really pounding on it, you know, you, there's probably a couple more little add-ons that, you know, that I would, I would definitely, um, uh, due to it you know just for extra security uh, i'm not saying that you have to i mean the truck is, is still pretty stout um you know but in my opinion you know there's just a couple other things you know that you might want to do uh but first of all i just want to show you uh, that the tires on this truck um i've had uh, no issues with these with these copper heads uh, these are the, the the stock tires still i've had no i've had no cracking in the rims um and i've ha I haven't even had a, a tire uh, come unglued yet uh, believe it or not there's a couple little spots where it's loose or it's starting to like right there, but I haven't had any kind of big issues with that uh, like in the past. So the glue jobs are definitely uh, are really good. Uh, my body is <laughs> pretty much trashed. Um, I've got a new one ordered. You know, I found a you know pretty good deal on eBay. Um, you know, I've, in the last video I had a hard time keeping her on there, uh, but of course I just I mean it's, it's still pretty dirty, but I just you know hit it with some Gorilla tape. You know, I didn't even really um, you know do a, a big uh, reinforcement job on it because i just wanted to get the truck out and run it but the next body i'll do the whole i'll definitely uh you know put some more time into the reinforcement with the with the drywall mesh and shoe goo and stuff like that but anyway the you know again this truck is running a uh a hobby star 4092 1480 kv with a 23 tooth pinion and max 6 esc um i mean huge power plant uh, this truck has loads of torque and um you know which puts a lot of strain on the gears and stuff so like i've mentioned before and like i've posted a thread on the uh, exp facebook I would definitely recommend as soon as you get your truck in to uh you know check your diffs check your oils uh you can put whatever oils in it that you would like um you know my personal preference uh, preference so far is i've got uh 50 000, 200 000, and 20 000 in the rear and i would the most important thing is to put a shim right here on the bearing up against the uh up against the ring uh, gear or crown gear you know whatever you want to call it uh that that will mesh that ring and pinion just a little bit tighter um, you know, to, to keep it from stripping out on any kind of on throttle landings or, or just real hard punch. If you're running like a uh, like a smaller system in here or a stock BLX system, uh, or if you're running on 4S, you know, you know, you may not have an issue, you know, with with the shimming uh, stuff like that. But if you're going big power systems and, and hard throttle and big jumps and stuff, I would definitely recommend putting the shim there, you know, in the front and the rear, just to uh, tighten that up a little bit. And these are the shims that I use. Uh, you can use any kind of shims, uh, Techno, Mugen. Uh, I just, uh, you know, I've been using these Kyosho shims, you know, for, for several years, uh, part number 96772, um, and this is, uh, this is an RTR diff, just to, just to kind of give you an idea, you know, for the guys that may have not done this before, uh, the, you know, the RTR diff, I usually run two shims um, on a standard plastic diff case, unless it's the heart racing diff case, I'll run three, uh, but, but, you know, this is where your shim goes, uh, you know, over your uh, outdrive onto your bearing, and then you would slide that down, you know, and, you know, into the, uh, into the diff case right here and make sure these shims get get locked get seated in you know inside that inside that plastic uh, part right there you know so and then when you put your when you put your cover on right here you want to make sure that the shim doesn't get doesn't you don't bind the shim up and it bends down you want to make sure it stays flush and it gets clamped down back behind the behind the plastic i use a little an old driver like this is broke off just something like a little pick or something just to kind of help you know push that shim in and, and make sure it stays locked in place when you when you assemble everything like i mentioned before i would definitely recommend the m2c or rear tower brace i'll put a link to that down in the description uh, this really helps you know transfer energy down you know from here down through the brace into the chassis in case of any kind of hard hits in the rear end or if you you know have an accidental uh, bad landing you know bust your wing off or you're running without a wing and it, you have a you catch the tower it won't it won't just bend your tower um this is 7075 it's very stout uh, much tougher than the uh, stamped aluminum in the rtrs 
but it will bend if it gets hit hard enough so that right there will definitely will definitely uh, help save that and I'm also running, which I, which I forgot to mention in my past few vi uh, videos, I'm also running the M2C uh, shock standoffs in the back because I did end up breaking one of those, the stock ones. I'm still running the stock ones in the front and haven't had any issues with those, so I'm just going to leave those alone. Um, you know, be, but most of the time, the back takes the most impact, uh, especially, you know, a lot of landings and stuff. You come down like this, and it, it just puts a lot of pressure on that on that back uh, a shock bolt right there. Um, but another thing real quick, um, you know, I am running an M2C chassis on this truck. Um, I'm not saying, I mean, the, the you know, the EXB chassis, I've, I had some uh, negative feedback on that, the fact that I did that, you know, from, from a few people. Um, there's nothing wrong with the EXB chassis. It is much, much stronger than a, than a stock, than a, than like an RTR chassis. Um, it's, you know, it's still three millimeters, um, but it's, you know, but it's, but it is super tough because it is, you know, 70 to 75. And if you run this uh, tower to tower brace, which I would recommend, uh, especially if running in the uh, stock chassis, uh, that'll keep everything straight. I mean, I never had any issues with bending the tower brace or the center drive line, you know, which is really good. Um, but I did have a couple, uh, you know, uh, times where I did uh, kick the kick the rear of the chassis right here backwards, uh, just from you know hard ramp launches and stuff, just catching the lip of that ramp um, at high speed. You know, just puts a lot of pressure on the on the on the tail of that chassis. And then I, you know, when I, when I busted the diff case, I did uh, you know torque it up just a little bit. Um, but it, you know, it's just a personal preference. I mean, I bent it back and I still ran the truck several times uh, But I had this chassis just hanging up in the garage and I just decided to go ahead and throw it on here And also on these arms right here I'm on you know, this will give you like a little idea like if you know the guys that don't have an EXB yet uh, If you can see that the way the light is, you know, the, the EXB arms are, are almost, you know, twice as thick <laughs> I mean, they're definitely beefcake uh, super tough. They got, you know, they got lots of flex in them, you know, compared, you know, kind of like an RPM arm. Uh, that's why I've, I've been through, you know, probably 20 packs with this truck um, at least and haven't, you know, haven't had any issues with arms except for in the last video. Uh, I did end up going ahead and blowing this arm right here. It did have a little crack in it and I had a, you know, kind of a wonky landing off a, off a huge uh, rock, off a uh, dirt pile. I went ahead and ripped it. I put an RPM arm on it. I did show in my last video how to kind of quick mod that. Because uh, the geometry on, on this truck is a little bit different. The shock is mounted closer in. Uh, like on RTR, it would be pretty much on this outside hole. You know, would be the standard. Uh, but they did. The, the, the shock the shock tower is made different. The holes are in a different spot. And then the, uh, the, sh the shock is mounted on the inner hole on this truck. So it changes the complete geometry of the back. Uh, but it just handles really good. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, definitely impressed with it. Moving on to the front of the truck. Uh, guys, this, this bumper right here... <laughs> This bumper is genius. I've had I mean, this thing is it's an awesome design. Um, you know, I mean, personally, I even prefer this over an RPM or, or, or a T-bone bumper. Uh, the only difference is, you know, like I would get these from my other trucks as well. But this uh, front suspension block right here is the same thing as the Mojave, where you got your three holes that mount up right here for the for, you know for the skid plate configuration. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, I'm working with Mitch right now to uh, try to make an aluminum like a direct replacement uh, 7075 block, you know, for that. So you can run that, you can, you know, put that on, on, the, on the front of your trucks and then run this uh, EXB bumper, you know, on the Outcast or, or Creighton or just whatever you got. Because, I mean, it's an awesome bumper. I mean, it has nice flex to it, but I haven't, haven't broken anything on it. And the skid plate right here is definitely saving, you know, the front of the chassis. So it's just an awesome design. So huge props to Arma for that. Uh, for every little, uh, you know, bit of science they put into this truck uh you know again the whole truck is completely different from an rtr i mean there's so many changes in this truck uh from overall geometry to all the plastic parts are thicker uh the aluminums are 70 75 um you know there's just a lot of little things you need all your limited slip diffs and uh, stuff like that so so overall this truck is just has really impressed me I mean, is it indestructible? You know, no. I mean, there's there's no, there's nothing that's indestructible. Like I said, I have broken a couple things on it. You know, bent a couple of things, uh, but it's just you know, it's just like it says. You know, uh, you know, ranch bash repeat. You know, that's just that's what this hobby's all about. You know, nothing's indestructible, but you know, but it is nice to be able to go out and bash and you know, moderate bash, bash hard, and uh, still bring your truck home in one piece. And uh, Arma has, has definitely done a you know a great job of you know putting a lot of time into this truck. And again, if you just add on a couple more little M2C goodies, uh, the chassis is not, not something you got to do. Again, that's just a personal preference of mine because I had one sitting up in the garage. But I would definitely recommend that. Uh, you know, maybe the pillow ball retainer nuts to help keep, you know, keep your uh, hubs from, from coming loose. Just little small things like that just, just to make it that much better. But anyway, all right, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, review of the truck and, uh, you know, what I thought about it overall. 
and uh, thoroughly impressed. Uh, big shout out to Arma Horizon Hobby. Oh, that was close. <laughs> That was rough. <laughs> Almost had it, then clipped that big ass uh, dirt rock. <laughs> that was pretty big. All right, guys, she said it's too hot out here. She wants to run topless, so we'll let her. <laughs> That was an EXB tower test. 